Yeah, hi there. In these comments, I'm going to just use your initial C. And uh, you have a TOEFL test coming up on January 25th. And you're also one of my students at my online course, The Seven Step System, to pass the TOEFL IBT. So let's see what you say. Would you take a look at my official TOEFL exam score report, which I recently received from ETS? I need to know. I need your help to improve my reading and wonder if there are any certain ways to improve besides further practice, such as test taking strategies for the reading section. Yes, there is. Now let's see what it says here. Now, in your situation, you are in very good shape right now. I know that you haven't reached your goal yet, but you have a, a score of 97. You have 22 points on the reading, 24 points in the listening. And this is what I absolutely love. Uh, you have 26 points in the speaking and 25 points in the writing, so you have very strong skills. Now, in the reading area, your score indicates that you are high, you are advanced in your reading, you have a good command of academic vocabulary and grammar, you can understand and connect information, uh, you can synthesize ideas even when the information is difficult or what the TOEFL calls conceptually dense. Uh, you also can recognize how different reading passages are organized and you can take major ideas from a text even when the text is difficult to understand. So you're in good shape, right? But you want to get higher on the reading area. So I do have some suggestions here. You might want to write these down. So, or you can do this, you can go on the internet and you can go over to my website and let's take a look at some of the lessons which I think you should review or study before taking the TOEFL exam this Saturday. Alright, so uh, let me click on the link and first of all I want to go to the vocabulary section first. And in the vocabulary section uh, one of the first lessons, uh, where is it? Um, lesson number one, nine vocabulary guessing strategies. So since when you take the test on Saturday, there will be maybe two or three vocabulary questions for each reading passage that you see. So you want to make sure you utilize the best possible strategies for that particular type of question. So at my online course, go to vocabulary lesson number one. That's the first thing you want to do. Now let's talk about reading. I'm going to go to the reading section of my course for just a minute. Now one of the things you want to be part of the game and I think you're interested in playing the TOEFL game and you want to beat it by getting a really really high score. Part of the reading game is this spend less time reading passages, spend more time answering questions. So obviously if you can develop your reading speed and, and, and have a 300 words per minute or more reading speed, that has a really big impact. You do spend more time answering questions if you have a faster reading speed. But anyway, in the reading section of my course, you want to make sure you can identify all the different question types and their strategies for answering each question type. For example, we have what's called vocabulary questions, pronoun referent questions, paraphrase question types, we have insert sentences, we have detail, negative detail, implied detail question types, we have infer rhetorical purpose, summary chart, and schematic table question types. These are all the question types. So when, you, when you're taking the TOEFL on Saturday, you know, you can skim through the reading passages pretty quickly. Go to the first question. What kind of question is that? Is it a main idea? Is it a vocabulary question? And then you want to utilize the strategies that you can learn in the lessons in my course. So here's my recommendation here. Lesson number two in the reading section. You want to make sure you go over the videos that talk about vocabulary, pronoun referent, and paraphrase question types. Lesson number three. 
you have insert sentence, detail, negative detail, and imply detail question types. Go over those. It'll, I'll teach you in the video how to identify the question type and the strategies that you want to use for that question type. You'll even have some sample reading patches in the videos to help illustrate my points. You want to go to lesson, reading lesson number four. This is called infer rhetorical purpose. That just means that they'll ask you why does the writer include a certain word? Why does the writer include the detail in paragraph four, right? You need to make sure you can connect that, that with other parts of the passage. But lesson number four is infer rhetorical purpose, summary chart, and schematic tables. Summaries are important. Remember, with a summary question, they're going to ask you to identify which answers best complete the summary. You'll see the topic sentence which basically states the main point of the reading passage. Then you have to look at the answers and figure out which of these answers best fit with the summary. Remember that some answers are minor details which means they should not be included in the summary. Some answers are plain faults and you don't want to include those either. Other answers were not mentioned at all in the reading passage and you don't want to include that information. So I think if you go through those lessons, reading lesson number three, reading lesson number four, reading lesson number five, and then you take a look at that one vocabulary lesson, that should get you in pretty good shape at least with the IBT reading question types and the strategies for answering them. Alrighty, good luck to you. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. You've got great English. You know, you're at 97 already. I know you want to get higher, but I will keep a prayer in my heart for you on Saturday, alright?